Yes, guys, cruising in on the office chair this morning. <laughs> um, massive subject today, guys. I'm really, really inspired to talk to you about this one, and I hope it serves as some Monday motivation. <clears throat> Monday motivation comes in all forms, and today it came to me in the form of, and, uh, and I mean this in the most, I'm coming from the most respectful, supportive manner possible here. I had a client message me this morning who suffered an injury, okay, and I'm, I'm really, really hoping to, to bring him back onto a focused path. So this is in no way, um, in any way disparaging towards this client. It's just simply a subject matter which has been inspired by a message that I had this morning from a client. Okay. And um, yeah, maybe you guys can relate to this. Okay. So injuries, overcoming obstacles, moving towards your goal despite what life throws at you. Okay. Bad luck, okay? It comes to us all in various different forms. For us, that concern with building physiques, for many, you know, one of the worst things that can happen in the gym is to pick up an injury or even outside the gym, something that's gonna stand in the way of your goals that you had such high hopes for achieving. So, you know, I'll use my client as an example. He suffered a shoulder injury and I know how he feels, okay? I totally understand how he feels. He kind of is contemplating just kind of stopping. He kind of just wants to stop. And there's this kind of human response that we get sometimes where when things aren't perfect, we want to just chuck in the towel. But here's the thing. I believe that anybody who's achieved success, and we use the gym as an example, but <clears throat> in all realms, whether it's in business um, or any other personal endeavor, when you see someone who's successful, when they have what you want, whether it's an awesome physique or an awesome business, the size of their success, and let's be really clear on the definition of success. Success, in my opinion, is simply the attainment of the level above where you currently are in an area which is important to you. That's all it is, success. But the attainment of success, whenever you see someone who is successful, Bear in mind, without a shadow of a doubt, that person has overcome huge, huge obstacles, gargantuan obstacles, and their degree of success is directly correlated to the level, the magnitude of obstacles that they have overcome. When you see any of these IFBB pro bodybuilders, these absolutely jacked dudes, all right, these women in phenomenal shape carrying huge amounts of muscle mass, you better believe that nothing ever stopped them, whether it was mental health issues, you know, depression, severe anxiety, broken legs, broken arms, torn muscles, financial problems, relationship issues. They've overcome so much to achieve their goals. Nothing ever stopped them. Because here's the reality, anything that's worth having doesn't come easy. And if it was easy, we would all have it. Very cliche saying, but listen, training hard, eating well, taking your supplements, all of these things, they're easy when the going is easy, when everything's working nicely, when you go in and get an easy pump, your joints feel good, your muscles feel good, your mindset is good. This is when it's easy, all right? But, but nothing worth having comes easy. And so I come back to my point. The success that someone achieves is directly correlated to the level of obstacle and challenge that they're willing to overcome. It really, really is that simple, guys. So where am I going with this? Ultimately, see your challenges as an opportunity to test how much you want something. I was chatting to my guy this morning. I've left him a few messages. I'm hoping to book onto a call to him later today or in the next couple of days to really kind of have this conversation directly with him and to bring his levels up and to get him excited and get him motivated. That's part of what I do as a coach, okay? But I was explaining to him how two years ago, or not even two years ago, July last year, okay? So a year and a bit ago, I was really into my training. I was preparing, I was in the best off season of my life. I was at like 109, 110 kilos, so like 240 plus pounds in the best shape of my life, ready to begin a prep after baby was born, okay? Crazy idea, I know. Freya was pregnant, okay? A month before she was due to give birth, or rather a week before she was due to give birth, 
I was having a little kickabout with a friend in the garden and I snapped my Achilles tendon. Like clean, completely severed my Achilles tendon. Just literally running in a straight line. Bam, okay. So there I am on the floor thinking, oh, for God's sake, why now? Okay, you know, Mrs. is about to give birth um, and all the rest of it. But despite that Achilles tendon rupture, did I just go, do you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna give up, I can't be asked. I felt like it, absolutely. I felt in my heart of hearts, like, what's the point? You know, I put all this work in, what's the point? But no, the alternative was giving up training and losing everything that I'd worked so hard for, losing my fitness, losing my mental health. And instead, what I did was I worked around it, okay? I had the surgery, had the cast put on, even between the acute injury phase and surgery, I got straight back into the gym and I was working around it, okay? I was doing everything I could with a cast on, hobbling around on crutches, full Achilles rupture, working around it. And that's not the first example. In the past, I completely destroyed my knee playing football, um, cruciate ligament tear, so meniscus and ACL tear. Again, on crutches, the next day after surgery, straight back in the gym, doing what I could, working my upper body, okay? I could still train everything other than that right leg. I was still working my left leg. You know, I've suffered spine fractures. I've got no discs left in my lumbar spine due to a degenerative disorder. In my neck, most of my discs are gone as well. In my T-spine, I've adapted and found ways to work around it, okay? I've torn a pec before. I've torn quadriceps. Look at this quad. Look at the state of this quad. That is not a normal shape for a quad. You see the difference? This one, ruptured, okay? Same with my hamstrings. My God, the list goes on of injuries. Um, this elbow, dislocation, compound fracture when I was a teenager, surgery on there. You know, the list goes on. Major tendonitis in this elbow, tricep tendonitis still affects me today. We work around it. And so the thing is, guys, if you want something badly enough, you're always going to be able to find a way around it. Okay. If you really want it, you've got to be willing to suffer for it at times. If it's so important to you, you're not gonna give in at the first hurdle, okay? So whatever challenges you're facing, ask yourself the question, do I kind of want my goal or do I really want it? Because if you really want it, you're gonna find a way. If there's a will, there is a way. It's a, again, another old cliche saying, but it holds so much truth. And I just wanna come back to my original point, which is this, okay? Anybody that you see out there, who has achieved success in their realm, bodybuilding, business, another sport, building an amazing relationship, building the house of their dreams, whatever it is that is their success, I have so much respect for these people because I know that no matter what life threw at them, they got through it. They pushed through it. It wasn't an easy ride. They didn't get there just through virtue of there never being any obstacles to overcome. No, they absolutely smashed through it. And that's what I need you guys to get into this mindset of, okay? Be hungry for it. Be aggressive in the pursuit of what you want. I'm getting quite passionate now. So at that, we're going to leave it. But there's some Monday motivation for you guys. Success is correlated directly to the level of obstacle, the degree, the magnitude of obstacle you are willing to overcome. If you really want it, nothing will stop you. If you achieve success, if you see anybody out there who's achieved something, it's because they were hardened to obstacles. They overcame obstacles. They were tough. They were resilient. And for all those people, I have the most immense respect. And we are all capable of it. It's not a God-given gift. We are all capable of pushing through. If we have a will, we have a way. Okay, guys, have a brilliant rest of your week. And... I've got an incredibly busy day today. I'm, I'm getting some amazing, amazing results from, from some of my clients today that I'm seeing coming through. Uh, I had a really good weekend. I had two clients win their shows. One guy win a competition in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to Josh, okay? And my guy Ish yesterday in St. Albans in Hertfordshire. Again, coming first in muscle model and second in men's physique. Um, love seeing this success. These are, again, guys that have overcome hurdles, overcome obstacles, and are working with, I think I lost connection there, so I'll start again. Um, if you are interested in working with a coach who is passionate about your success, 
okay? Get in touch. Send me a DM right now, okay? Upon watching this video, send it to me right now. Tell me what you want to achieve and I'll ensure that no obstacle gets in your way. Speak soon, guys.